California suffered a historic drought in the first half of 2014. As a result, the water that farms normally brought in from far-off reservoirs became scarce and expensive. Farmers like Wayne Western were forced to leave many fields empty. It's a battle, and everybody's affected all the way down the line. This field here, was, we had cotton last year. Uh, we were hoping to have cotton again this year, uh, but we don't, there's not enough water to do it, so we're not going to have it. Uh, this ground is going to stay fallow this year. We're not going to grow anything in it. We follow about 50% of our ground this year, so that automatic cat, 50% of our crew. I feel bad about it because I had guys working for me for the last 10, 15 years, and we had to let them go because there's no, there's no work, you know. Part of the solution could be right underneath these farmers' fields. Beneath all this dry dirt, there is actually water. Lots of it. Several feet underground, there's a layer of clay that catches rainwater and agricultural runoff. Over the years, a huge reservoir of water has built up underground. The problem is, it's too salty to use. Entrepreneur Aaron Mandel understands this problem well. So here you can see the problem that we're dealing with, and obviously the first thing that you notice is that the ground is very, very dry. But the second thing you notice is that there's all this salt in the ground. So when you break open this soil, you can see there's a, a lot of natural mineral content that ends up in the water and makes it not drinkable. To address this problem, Mendel started Water FX. The company has built a small, solar-powered desalination plant. It pumps underground water through these pipes to remove the salt and make it reusable for agriculture. When the sun rises, we have a, basically a giant mirror that concentrates the, the, the energy from the sun. So just like a magnifying glass, we concentrate the energy, we generate uh, heat, and we use the heat to uh, evaporate fresh water. So the dirty water comes in, it contacts the steam that we generate from the solar energy, and we distill off uh, fresh water, leaving all of the salt behind. So this is where we collect the fresh water that comes from the evaporation unit. So, uh, this water is very, very pure. It's actually the purest water you can generate. It's distillate, so it has uh, less than five parts per million of dissolved uh, minerals. Distillation, obviously, it's, it's one of the oldest processes. It's been around for literally hundreds of years, just like you would be using it to make whiskey or vodka. We're using it to make fresh water. It's a very basic process, but we're, we're running it with renewable energy. The local water utility sponsored this desalination pilot project. They want water security for the dry years to come. WaterFX is planning to build more solar arrays by the end of 2015. So we have 50 acres here. We're going to add about 70 mirrors, just like the one we have here. And on this site, that's going to produce about 2 million gallons per day of fresh water. And that's what we see as the future of, of sustainable water production in California. In the end, this technology's success comes down to economics. Making usable water with solar desalination isn't cheap. In wet years, it still costs less for farmers to buy water from reservoirs than from the desalination plant. But if climate change brings more droughts, reservoir water could become prohibitively expensive. And that could make solar desalination an economically attractive solution. <laughs>